Welcome to Create Arts Online. I'm Patty Euler. In this course, I will be teaching Whimsical Wildflowers, the Magic of Clayboard. I love the transformation from a white surface to multiple colors and textures. Using a clayboard panel as the substrate for this project, I can make something ordinary become extraordinary. Ampersand Museum Series Clayboard combines the durability of a true artist's hardboard with ultra smooth kaolin clay. Clayboard is highly absorbent and accepts more mediums than any other surface. I love this product and I am thrilled for the opportunity to share these techniques with you. What I love about this surface is that it is both additive and subtractive. You can change the surface just by adding texture, adding color, or removing color. Now my favorite medium to use on this surface is the clayboard inks. These inks are formulated to work specifically with clayboard. You can use other mediums, but I love the effect I can create with the original highly pigmented clayboard inks. My focal point for this project is an art foamy stamp inspired by Laurie Siebert's large botanicals. To start, I will demonstrate how to create a colorful background using the inks and a blending tool and foam applicator. The foam applicator creates a unique spattered effect. Now, once the background has dried, we will move on to stamping the focal image using archival ink. And now the fun begins. Using a variety of scratch tools, I will show you how to remove parts of the inked image to reveal the white clay board. I will demonstrate how each of the scratch tools can create a different effect, adding more detail and dimension to your work. Once I have finished creating the texture, it's time to add back some color and highlights. Using the same clay board inks, I will paint over the stamped and carved image to add contrast and give the piece a more whimsical look. Lastly, I love to add subtle details using pens and ink. Clayboard comes in a variety of sizes. And once you learn these techniques, you'll be able to create on any of these surfaces. The possibilities are endless. So let's get started. Patty, thank you for bringing this course exclusively to Create Arts Online and wanting to share this with our mixed media community and world. I'm so excited about this course. This is really absolutely one of my most favorite products. And I know people say that about their kids. They're all their favorite, <laughs> yep. but this really is my favorite. So thank you for the opportunity for me to be able to, um, to showcase this and share some of the techniques. Yes, and I watched this be created for the first time and was oohed and awed at every step of the way. And I know that there's lots of painters out there and different kinds of mixed media artists, but this is truly something someone can make that looks like you know, someone's been working for years to learn this technique and it can be done very quickly. It can be. Um, what I use predominantly are rubber stamps mm -hmm. to create my images. The art foamies are big, bold stamps. There's not a lot of detail in them. So that allows you to create your own detail, as you can see in the two samples that we have here. But that doesn't mean that you can't use a more detailed stamp because like right here, the elephant and um, the wildflowers, they give you a lot of fine detail and all of this, the tools can create, help you create some of that detail. Yes, and just watching you work and getting different ideas of how to add the detail, subtract some of the color, get into that white clay that's in the, you know, basically the background after you've put the stamp on. It was just phenomenal to see that technique. And talk a little bit about the scratch tools and how special they are for this technique. Well, the whole point of using the clay board is that there's an, um, the kaolin clay is velvety smooth. It is a beautiful surface. So once you add your color to the background, then there are some tools that you use to get rid of some of that detail to create the line work and actually add more detail in there. So, you know, there's a scratch knife, there's a line tool, um, there's a, a fiber tool. There's just so many cool things that you can do with them. 
And you show in the course each one of those tools in a different part of creating this piece. Correct. And then after that, talk a little bit about the clay inks and how you love this specific product because of how it reacts with the board and doing this whole process. So most, almost, this is, and I said this earlier on, is that this surface uh, takes more mediums than any other surface around. But they do make, um, Ampersand does make their own clay inks that work specifically with this surface. And I just adore them because I love the vibrancy of the color and how highly pigmented they are. And together with the clay, they make this beautifully smooth um, surface that almost looks like it has a varnish on top of it, but it does not. Um, and the inks can be mixed. You only have six colors and they can be mixed to make a, a wealth of, of different shades. And um, a technique that I actually developed was using the um, blending tool and the foam. And I add my ink to that and then I lightly pounce on the surface and it creates all of that detail in there, um, the little speckled effect which I really uh, like and I use almost on all the pieces that I create. Yes, and watching you do that exact effect was pretty phenomenal. And in the course, she really goes into detail with that. I have to say, having the 20 plus or many years of experience and having you here to share that with everybody and show them that it's just so achievable is just such a great gift that we have for the art community. Well, thank you, Tammy. I've enjoyed my, my um, doing my course and I really do appreciate the opportunity. Well, I hope everyone can dive into Whimsical Wildflowers, The Magic of Clayboard with Patty and you will have something like this instantly. And we can't wait to see what you create.